Alrighty, you guys, we are jumping straight into it today. I am going to be doing a little mini eye tutorial using the brand new Alamad Cosmetics Spanglish collection. This collection is absolutely stunning and beautiful. Gabby, you killed it as always. We are going to go ahead and start with the eyeshadow primer. This is a new product for Alamad. It's called Pero Primer Primero. And I'm absolutely obsessed with the formula of this primer. You guys know that I usually prime my eyelids with the concealer, but this primer really impressed me. It was super tacky, but at the same time, really easy to work with. Now going into the gorgeous Spanglish palette, I am going to be taking the shade I Que Cute, and I'm going to put this in my crease and this is going to be our transition shade for today and look at this pigment I don't know if it's the primer I don't know if it's the eyeshadow but oh my goodness I am blown away at the shades and the pigment next I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Ponte Hyper and I am going to apply this in the outer and inner corner this color is stunning this is probably my favorite color from the whole entire palette I regret so much not applying this this all over my entire lid because I did just focus this in the inner and outer corner and kind of connected it in the crease but next time I'm gonna use this all over the lid because it's gorgeous I'm gonna go back in with the blending brush that we used our transition shade to make sure that everything is nice and seamless moving on I am going to go ahead and take the shade Guau, which is this beautiful pressed glitter purple shade and I am going to spray my brush with some fix plus to make it really nice and pigmented not that it needs it but you know a pressed glitter always applies better when wet so I am applying this to the center of the lid and I did start with more of a fluffy brush but I did change to a flat brush just because I feel like when you're dealing with glitters a flat brush is the way to go next I'm gonna take the second purple shade that's in the palette called it is on show and I'm going to put that in the inner and outer corner of the eyes kind of just hugging in that purple glitter I love of the shade this one was super duper pigmented and I did not have to wet my brush for this shade it was gorgeous and super like I said super pigmented I am taking a little bit more of Ponte Hyper and I'm just blending everything out to make sure that everything is nice and seamless going in to the pink pressed glitter shade called Tienes Swing. I am going to apply this with my finger to the center of the lids and I'm applying it with my finger because I was curious to see the different ways that these eyeshadows apply and to be honest I've tried it with the brush I've tried it with my finger and I have to say that my finger is my favorite way to apply these pressed glitters alrighty so now we're gonna go ahead and take a makeup wipe and I am just going to begin to wipe off any fallout any little glitter specks I always do this step because I feel like the overall look at the end is a lot neater so I always always take this extra step I promise you it would all be worth it at the end I'm gonna go ahead and start working in the lower lash line I am going to be taking a concealer and I am going to apply the concealer under the lower lash line in my under eyes <laughs> and I'm gonna blend that out just using my damp beauty sponge and this is just going to prepare us for the eyeshadow that we are about to apply so I did a horrible job at filming this but I used the shade Ponte Hyper in the lower lash line and now I'm taking the shade Pero Like and I'm putting that in the inner corner as my inner corner highlight so I did go ahead and fix not fix finish in my face off camera so I am just going to line my waterline using a nude pencil you can also do a black or a brown this eye look will look really pretty with any eyeliner that you choose I'm gonna go into the shade muy excited this is a phrase that i say all the time i love this phrase i'm muy excited and i'm going to apply this in the lower lash line just to further smoke and blend everything out i'm gonna go ahead and apply some falsies and mascara i said that backwards mascara first then some ardell wispies and then for blush, I am using her Colorete Trio. I believe these are coming back in stock soon. I am using the medium 
palette I'm taking just a mixture of all of them and I'm applying that all over the skin I did not go into detail on my skin routine because I do this same routine in every single video and I really wanted this to just be focused on the eyes I am taking a little bit more of pero like and I'm applying that to the tip of the nose as my nose highlight Moving on to the lips, I am taking the Alamad Dulce Lip Liner and I am going to line and fill in the lips using this lip liner. This is my favorite color that they carry and I love Gabby's formula. Like her formula is incredible. Like everything that she's created so far. For lipstick, I am taking the Dose of Colors lipstick in the shade Glazed. This is one of my favorites at the moment. And then of course, for gloss, I am taking Birthday Suit, which is one of Gabby's newest glosses. This is also from Alamar. And I am just going to apply that all over the lips. And that is it, you guys. This collection was stunning. It was beautiful. As always, Gabby, you killed it. It was amazing. And I cannot wait to see what else is coming for Alamar. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.